Hey, how's she going boys? Mike here. Welcome back to Grand Peace Workshops. I'm glad you dropped in. Uh, the other day I did some uh, work on the tractor, took the chains off it, getting it ready for summer. So today we're going to put the loader on. Not a big job, shouldn't take long, but let's go see how I make out. A ah, beautiful day in the lake today. Nothing but blue skies. The sun is warm. Birds are chirping. Grass is growing. And got to get the tractor started and put my loader on. And the loader is way over here in this little shelter. So the first thing we have to do over here is there's a post right here. I'm going to take that post out of there so I can maneuver so we'll get at her. One thing I like about this shelter is uh, the posts, the pipe and everything in it, they're very solid. It's not thin wall pipe. So this is a very old shelter. This, the, the framework of it is probably 10 12 years old maybe. Uh, the canvas that was on it is wore out, but I, but I bought a tarp at Prince's Auto one time, put the tarp on it, and it works great keeping the, the rain and whatnot off. So all we need to do is lift this up, pull that pipe out, move my base here. the roller that's filled with water. I'm not sure if I can move it. I'm going to move it downhill. <laughs> All right, that's out of the way. Now move the lawn more. Now we should be able to maneuver the tractor in here and hook up on the loader.
you might wonder what's going on here and I'm going to tell you the ground is not level in here in the shelter so the right side of the bucket is lower than the left side uh, it was level when I put it in here of course it, everything moves over the winter with the frost and whatnot and when I was wiggling the bucket trying to line up these holes I dug the hole deeper so what I'm going to try and do now is I just I, the pin on the other side is halfway in I just have this stuck in there now just to hold it I'm going to back the tractor out, put it on level ground, and see if I can line up those holes. Uh, it's not usually this difficult to put the loader on the tractor, and uh, that's if you take the loader off on a good level surface. But I should head in here as nice and level, and maybe even a, a wooden pallet set down so I can set the bucket on it. But I didn't, so this is the sort of uh, rustling you have to do when you don't put things away correctly.
job's done. Well, I had a little bit of a problem there getting the uh, loader arms to line up on the tractor. But like I say, that comes from not storing the bucket, uh, the loader, on a good level surface. The, the loader was not level with the tractor, so like one was this way, one was that way, and never the twain shall meet. <laughs> but once I got her around front, got her straightened out, and I uh, got the pins put in, no problem. I don't recommend moving the loader around like I did without the pins in and locked. Uh, you're only asking for trouble, but I was only coming from the back around to here. I figured I was okay. <laughs> and then I greased her up, so now we're good. Uh, got some work coming up for the loader, so stay tuned for that. In the meantime, folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget, thumbs up me, and uh, leave some comments. We'll talk to you.